really good content, man. Man, you are the best. Just one thing. Wait. No offense intended. Alright, I, I guess that's fair. Turn the brightness down on you lights. It looks like you just arrived from heaven. Space emoji, star emoji. Is this what you want? Oh, that's a little too dark. Maybe a little bit higher. A little bit as ah, too high. Back down. There we go. There we go. Thank you for the comment, man. We're probably going to do that more often where I just read your guys' comments. We're going to make some more videos because I don't upload a lot, which I probably should. Okay, we're going to be playing some Stanley Parable. This one. You're gonna need some headphones, and we're gonna be doing that. Let's see, what can we hear? No, we don't want to hear that. By the way, I'm Team Valor. Unless you're Team Mystic or Instinct, and I guess that's okay. I guess. I'm working on a Pokemon Go video, okay? I'm sorry. Everyone else has made one, but I haven't. It's because I, I suck at the game, let's be honest. Alright, well, when this loads, we'll... Oh, there it goes. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's get all sorts of comfy. This game is amazing. Really old. A few years old. I don't know how old. It's old, but there's hair everywhere. Alright. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, we're going to listen to him. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I, employee I can't... Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been uh, where am I? Exactly uh, uh, and Stanley uh, was happy. Stanley was happy. I'm glad and that then Stanley one day, is happy. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Hi, Stanley. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Ah. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, well, here is a gameplay 427. That is us. I just want to let you know, yes, I have played this game before, just so that way... Oh, shoot, I can't go back in. Just if you guys needed to know. All of his co-workers were gone. Hmm. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm, probably. Oh, I took that picture. I remember it. It was a good day. It was a good day. Stanley went around touching every... A sticky keys? Excuse... No difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Why... Why... Why are sticky keys on in the first place? I don't... Yeah, this video is great so when far. When he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, well, we're just going to listen to what he says. Afterwards, we're gonna just going to play around and see what we can do. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it works. You got to work with other people to know what it's like and all that stuff. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. Okay. I can do that. Kind of noisy. Mm. Ooh, 
I want this desk. Ew. What's that computer, though? Ugh. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once hmm. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human oh. life. That's right. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk oh. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Ooh. 2845. Ah. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Uh, how? I don't know. Guys, what's the pin? I really need your help on this. I'm just going to put in just random buttons and we're just going to see if that works. Yet incredibly, by simply Whoa. pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Wow. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Sheer luck, huh? Are we going down here? Is, is there anything over here? Nope. It's just pitch black. Just nothing. <laughs> Benu. Elevator down. Cool. We're doing good so far. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. So I got a question, why is the button down? Shouldn't it just be a big red button? Why do they have to put a down arrow on it? Because now I can't go back up. Uh, and the lights went out. What if we went back in? Huh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ooh, Mind Control f Well, this was a fun game. We're not going to do this right now. Although this passageway had the word escape written on mm -hmm. it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, was Stanley it escape? would meet his violent death. You know, maybe we could go to the Mind Control Facility real quick. Just a quick tour. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. I like pushing buttons on a keyboard. Sounds like a YouTuber's life. <laughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? <laughs> hey guys. This is gonna tell you my setup. This is my chair. This is my button, and, and this is my my monitor. This is my monitor where I I play video games. Like uh, I I I like Ro Roblox. It's a fun game. Uh, let me let me turn them on for you. Now the monitors jumped to life. Mm. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number <sighs> of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I mean, let's be honest. If you if you played anything on this, that'd be really cool. Like a 360 video. Uh, that's pretty strange. He's got to fill it up over there. Oh, where are we going? Ooh, elevator up. This mind control facility. It was too horrible. Facility. To it couldn't be true. There's me. Had Stanley really been, been under someone's control. Why all are this you time? lagging? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Um. Maybe. I. I just think no. that. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? What? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe, because, I mean, I have pretty poor eyesight. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. 
And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Are we getting just... Are, are you sure? Maybe... Mm, maybe we can just uh, just turn it on, guys, just to prank bro. I broke my computer. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. I got the chills. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Come even on, come on, come on. The immense door slowly opened. Uh, mm. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Hmm. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Uh. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Uh. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Well, it was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. What about my friends? Stanley stepped through the open door. I want my friends to be happy. Why can't they be happy too? All right, here we go. Here we go. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, oh, the yes. immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Um, and Stanley was happy. Aw, what a cute story. All right, now let's completely ruin it. Hmm. What, whoa, I'm so, yeah, where am I? Oh, look, I'm back in my office again. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Should I go to the meeting room? Hmm. What? Well, wait a minute. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. Let's go to the right. Why not? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh man, dude, I love the employee lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Of course. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Uh, Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it? All right, well, let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, man, let's do it. Pranked. Oh man, that was Stanley good. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right, well, here we go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. All right. I'll give you a chance. Why not, buddy? Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm -hmm. Now see, here's the problem. 
I am colorblind, so we're gonna go through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. That's the red door. I went through the red one, you see? I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. I actually haven't been through it. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Oh, my God. You see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. You're gonna let me go through the doors? That's kind of dark, though. Huh. That's kind of weird. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel... No, wait, where are you going? All right, I'm gonna be honest. I've never been to this part before, so this is all new to me. So, I'm gonna do whatever comes to mind. Okay. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Hmm. You want me to die, don't you? Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I don't know. Do you deserve this, man? Okay. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. All right. All right. Okay. 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 I'll give. I'll give you one more chance. To oh. Oh. Thank God, you lived. No. 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 What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? I'm barely alive. I'm gonna do this, man. I'm gonna do it. Yolo. Stanley. Let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yes. You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Yes. Am I reading the situation correctly? Ow. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Now we're gonna die again. I, I don't... This doesn't seem right to me. Hey, bye! Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Maybe I was a little harsh. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Babe, is that you? You need to be the one to do this. Babe, babe. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you? Sorry, I forgot to pick up the phone. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh! Oh, Stanley, is that you? It's me, oh, honey. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I know you're I'm good. I'm the bread out of the oven. Ooh. All right. I'm hungry. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? No. They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point True. here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. 
Let me show you what's really going on here. Wait, wait no, I, I want... No, don't... Sorry, <gasps> but you're in my story now. What? This is a very sad story about Hi. the death of a man named Stanley. Excuse me? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Excuse me? I happen to have a life. Oh, H. Look at the him same there, man. pushing buttons. I do have a life. Exactly what he's told to do. Yeah. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going no, I'm home. Not. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Mm. Nah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look around. What's up, girl? Are you my wife now? Okay, can we please clean that sink? Oh. You said oven. You lied to me. Where's the oven? Do I really have to push N? But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. I don't watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Uh First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press 2 to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors okay, okay. and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Where are the boys? The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. I want to hang out with my friends. I'm not supposed to make dinner. Do you want to make dinner? No. Oh, fine then. I'm going to make dinner. Just... As he wandered through this fantasy That's world, not dinner. He began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. You okay there? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. This is like freaking Inception. Wait, I have kids? It was such a wonderful no. fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again. And again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay, let's I'm do it. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. I died. That's it. All right, we're going to end the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed, because this is a really fun game. I highly suggest you try it out. You don't have to. But I just suggest it. Old game, really fun. It's on Steam. Put it in the description for you. It's cool. It's old and stuff. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video of whatever it is. Peace. When I close my eyes, I can almost see it.